Welcome back, manga and manhwa enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of manhwa that share the spirit of solo leveling. You asked for more adventures akin to the gripping story of Sung Jin Woo, and we've got you covered. From intense battles to leveling up in unique worlds, these top 5 manhwa bring a similar thrill and vibe reminiscent of solo leveling. So get ready to explore these exhilarating tales that capture the essence of one of our favorite manhwa. With the help of our manhwa community, this video was possible with their insight to manhwanology. Let's jump right in. Your Talent is Mine is a Chinese manhwa written by De Yuan Z and illustrated by Daxing Dao Comic. The story revolves around a high school student named Li Yi, who accidentally obtains a mysterious power that allows him to steal other people's talents permanently by scanning them with the system. As he navigates the implications and consequences of this newfound ability, Li Yi faces various challenges while dealing with the talents he acquires and the people involved in his life. The manhwa explores themes of talent, ambition, and the moral implications of using such powers. Caught in a whirlwind of ambition, moral dilemmas, and the intricate web of human connections, Your Talent Is Mine is a gripping tale that delves into the complexities of talent, ambition, and the price one pays for chasing extraordinary abilities in an ordinary world. Both stories heavily focus on the development and utilization of abilities, whether it's combat prowess in solo leveling or various talents such as intelligence, athleticism, or artistic skills in Your Talent Is Mine. The next one is Super Evolution. Super Evolution is a Chinese manhwa written by Jia Hua Yin Yang and illustrated by Yong Xing Shu. The storyline centers on the protagonist, Lin Yi, who possesses a mysterious power allowing him to evolve constantly. In this manhwa, Lin Yi discovers his ability to evolve after a serendipitous encounter with an otherworldly book. This newfound power grants him the ability to continuously grow and evolve, improving his strength, skills, and abilities. As Lin Yi navigates the challenges of this newfound power, he encounters various adversaries, embarks on adventures, and faces different trials that push the limits of his evolving abilities. The story likely focuses on his journey of self-discovery, harnessing his powers, and the conflicts that arise from possessing such a unique and potent ability. Super Evolution shares certain similarities with solo leveling, especially in terms of the protagonist's growth and development. Both stories involve protagonists who gain unique abilities that allow them to evolve and grow stronger progressively. Sung Jin Woo in solo leveling undergoes a similar transformation, evolving from the weakest hunter to one of the most powerful. Similarly, Lin Yi in Super Evolution. Martial God Regress to Level 2 is a manhwa created by Red Ice Studio, the same studio behind solo leveling. The story is set in a world where an event called the Battle Net, initially considered a game, becomes a catastrophic disaster for humanity. Following the Space League, a universal fight for survival ensues, where all living beings fight for their existence. Despite the relentless battles and the eventual annihilation of humanity, one individual, Song Jihan, stands apart as the martial saint. His unique ability, the Nameless Divine Arts, manages to resist the system's attempts at erasing humanity. Song Jihan becomes the sole survivor from Earth, clinging to the brink of existence. In a twist of fate, a second chance is granted to Song Jihan, symbolizing a renewed opportunity for humanity. With the return of the one who completed the game, Song Jihan vows that things will be different this time around. Armed with his experience and determination, he aims to alter the course of events in this new chance given to him, aiming for a different outcome than before. While these similarities might exist, it's important to note that each manhwa has its unique storyline, character development, and world-building elements. Martial God Regress to Level 2 may possess parallels with solo leveling in certain aspects, but will likely present its own narrative and distinct features as the story progresses. Number 4. The Beginning After the End is a popular South Korean manhwa written by Turtle Me and illustrated by Fuyuki23. The story follows the life of King Grey, a powerful monarch who, in his final moments, is reincarnated into a new world full of magic, monsters, and mysteries. Reborn as a young boy named Arthur Lewin, King Grey retains the memories and experiences of his past life. 
With his knowledge and unparalleled abilities from his previous existence, Arthur navigates the challenges of this new world, aiming to become stronger and unravel the secrets surrounding his reincarnation. As Arthur grows up, he attends a magical academy, hones his skills in combat and magic, and discovers the true extent of his powers. Along the way, he forges new friendships, encounters formidable adversaries, and gradually uncovers the mysteries of his past life and the nature of the world he now inhabits. Its similarities to solo leveling is that it's the peak of manhwa entertainment, the peak of writing. It's probably the greatest manhwa of all time. Before I continue this video, here are some comments people from the community have to say. Something that a lot of people don't seem to understand is that solo leveling didn't start this whole thing. It has been a genre of its own before solo leveling came out. So saying that something is copy of solo leveling just because they share the same genre is idiotic. And with sharing the same genre it usually comes with similarities, like setting, MC background etc. For example, in Ice Guy you have the common fantasy world MC. And with sharing the same genre it usually comes with similarities, like setting, MC background etc. For example, in Ice Guy you have the common fantasy world, the system, the otaku MC. The stereotypical harem, the demon lord king, the elf arc, the slaves, and so on and so forth. Solo Max Level Newbie tells the story of Jin Hyuk, a gaming YouTuber who had the unique distinction of being the only person to witness the ending of the game called Tower of Trials. However, as the game's popularity waned, Jin Yuk faced challenges in sustaining his career as a gaming YouTuber. Considering he had already experienced and seen the conclusion of the game, Jin Yuk contemplated quitting playing altogether. But one fateful day, the virtual game, Tower of Trials, unexpectedly materialized into reality. This sudden turn of events catapulted Jin Hyuk into a position of advantage as he possessed comprehensive knowledge about every aspect of the game. Armed with his unparalleled understanding of Tower of Trials, Jin Hyuk swiftly assumes control and dominance within the game's newfound reality. With an advantage over others due to his pre-existing knowledge, he navigates through the game's challenges and obstacles faster and more adeptly than anyone else.